I would like to talk about the system. And people wonder, what is this system? Is it the system to count cars of this? No one's talking about the system. As in this all controlling thing. And the thing is, people will look at it and they'll say, well, you know, it's the system. You know, people will even say, you can't beat the system. Uh, well, actually, history says you can beat the system because, you know, China had emperors and then they didn't. You know, Russia did, was not a capitalist country, and now it is. Okay, you know, dictators fall, things change. What you get is a slightly altered system, but you can beat the system. But the thing is, don't listen to something just because it purports to be the system. That's right. Don't just listen to it because it says it is of the system. It doesn't mean it's right. It does not mean that you have to do what it, what it wants you to do. Because a lot of what it wants you to do isn't your job. Okay? It's not your job. It's outside of the field of what you have to do. It's not the law. But they want you to do certain things. And you think, well, you know, you can't beat the system. Let's just go along here. No, you don't. You can do what you want. As long as you don't break the law. Okay? Outside of that, you're fine. What I'm trying to say is, this whole thing about, well, there's this great grand system. It's not such a grand system. It's not so great. Look around the world. Does this look so fabulous to you? You know, is this, a, is this great? great? We've got wars. We've got starvation in some places. Well, simultaneously, apparently, have an obesity epidemic in others. Uh, which is strange when you think about it. What's stranger is that we're all living longer. Uh, so it seems the countries with the obesity epidemics are doing better than the slim ones. Which is strange also. But, you know, the whole concept is bad. The whole concept that, no, we, we, this system exists. Yes, but what we're talking about now is some sort of all-controlling thing. Some all-controlling thing which many people are part of. You may be part of it. And I'm not saying that you, lose your, that you leave your job. What I'm saying to you is... When you are not working in your, in your normal time, you do not have to do what they tell you to do. You can think for yourself. That's one reason why occultism is normally censored. By occultism I mean real magic. Real magic is normally censored. It's a hidden censor, as in, it's not an outright ban. Wait, well, normally it is an outright ban, but they won't admit to it. And that's why you don't really see occult rituals on the television. You don't really hear about them written about in the newspapers. You know, I've written coming up to 400 books. And when occult books come out, uh, you, you don't tend to have the, the same promotion as you would for other books. They're difficult to promote. You know, I'm the most prolific occult author in history. Don't really get any TV publicity because it's occultism. Okay? It's not just because they don't like the look of my face. They don't think this is right. They think, oh, he, you know, he doesn't come from a private school. It's none of that. It's simply because they don't want you to know about occultism or real magic. And the reason, is, the reason is because they're all using it. That's the thing. The people that are the most of the system, they use it. But also, occultism has one characteristic, which is something they do not like. And that is... Occultists think for themselves. Occultists question things. Because in reality, occultism is a sort of applied philosophy. Okay? That's really what you're talking about. So basically, people get to try things out. It's not as dry as most philosophy. Okay? It's more like an applied form where you think and you do. So basically, you start thinking for yourself. You start deciding what's right and wrong for you. Okay? That's what you should be doing. Decide what's right and wrong for you, what you think's right and wrong in the world. Okay? You don't have to be part of the system. You do not have to be a slave. You can be free.